Namaste everyone. So we started discussing step five yesterday. Let us briefly recap all that we have discussed so far. So we are doing exercise one, which is about observing the self by the self. That is observing the consciousness by the consciousness. And in step one, we try to observe the imagination as it is, in particular the feeling, without evaluating, without judging, without trying to change, without reacting, just observing as it is. In step two, then we try to see whether the feeling is naturally acceptable to me or not. That means whether it is that I would like to continue with it or not, or it is in accordance with my human nature or not. In step three, we observe the state of being and try to find out whether we are comfortable within or not. That is, am I in harmony within or not? Am I happy by myself or not? So this is something that we try to do in step three. In step four, then we went to see whether the feeling that I have at this moment is being decided by me or someone else or the situation outside, who is the decision maker. And we could very much see with some exploration that it is ultimately me who decides the feeling. And thus I am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. And since I'm able to see that I'm not happy every moment, I feel responsible to work to develop myself to develop my competence so that I can ensure happiness in me in continuity. And second thing, when I am able to see that I am myself responsible for my unhappiness, then I get free of grudges or complaints about others. So this much we try to observe till step four. And with that, we took this assignment when we started discussing five, step five. So in step five, we are trying to observe the basis for decision. On what basis did I decide my feeling? Was it right understanding or some assumption? Gee, where we can have the slide for the assignment. So the assignment that we took yesterday, and this essentially means that we have to continue doing steps one to four. So observe your feeling when someone expresses a preference different from yours. For example, a preference of music, of language, of likes and dislikes, which is different from yours. When someone gives his or her opinion about another, about a certain sect of people, etc., and you decide we. What is your feeling? Do you perhaps an underlying assumption in you about the other, about the situation, about the topic of disagreement? Check. Is your assumption in line with understanding or in the lack of understanding? Note down your observation. Now we are going further to see on what basis I am deciding my feeling. So I may be carrying so many assumptions. So all that we have been discussing so far, if you look at the complete existence, right? Either I assume about it or I know about it. When I know about it, my assuming is guided by knowing. Else I merely assume about it. And, and if it is not based on knowing, then it is likely to be wrong also. And if I start deciding on that basis, then my decision is, of course, not going to be right. For example, if I do not understand a human being as coexistence of self or body, and I assume a human being to be merely the body, but whenever I have to interact with a human being, I'll treat the other as a body. When I have to take care of myself also, I'll take care of myself, assuming myself as a body. When I have to interact with the rest of nature, and since I'm not aware of consciousness, I'll treat every entity as material. Isn't it? I'll treat birds and plants and animals all as material. Well, it may not be the case. There are some material units, there are some consciousness units. But since I have not been able to understand a human being, and to begin with, I have not been able to understand myself, I carry some assumptions about myself. And that is underlying all my decisions. Similarly, if I do not understand what happiness is, relationship, suffering within, but still assuming prosperity to be accumulation of wealth, they are just working day and night for accumulating more and more, consuming more and more, without ever being able to make out how much they require. So if I am not having the right understanding, and I'm carried by such wrong assumptions, which I have never verified, never explored. Then whatever decision I take for the feeling inside is going to be unguided. Okay. And then since all this is not clear, I am always complaining about others. I'm always unhappy within. I am not able to see the source of happiness inside. I'm running for happiness outside. And <clears throat> this becomes a way of living for me. So we have to observe within, you know what assumptions we are carrying. And these assumptions accumulated once 
become our sun star. So you'll see that gradually we are able to dig inside. Generally, we are able to observe the behavior. Now going behind the behavior, we are able to observe the thought. Going behind the thought, we are able to observe the feeling. And now we are trying to go behind the feeling. What is there? This is our sun star, our assumptions, right? And we'll see gradually that we all are struggling with our own sun stars, our own assumptions. Since we are not into or we have not been, for example, into the process of self-exploration to that extent, we are not happy by ourselves. Our own sun stars are troubling us. They are creating doubts, fears, anxiety, disorder in us about our life, about our relationships, about our vision for society. And that's how we are troubled most of the time. And that's how we keep on running outside for happiness. If you remember, we started with the discussion whether happiness is our innate nature or is it some external influence. Right. And now if I am having such assumptions in me, which are not in line with right understanding, then the happiness is not going to be ensured within. And once it is not ensured within, I'll keep running outside for happiness. And there would be a lot of disturbance, a lot of filter sculpture in my life, lots of ups and downs. All those things are going to be there. And I'm ignorant of my own assumptions, so I keep on blaming others for my unhappiness. So now you can see as we start looking with some more fineness, how I'm unguided within. And why is that there? Because the higher level activities of contemplation, understanding, realization are not awakened. So on one hand, when you say that we need to develop right understanding, we all agree. But we have to see the need by pure observation. We have to see that in this particular situation, at this moment, if I have the right understanding, what would be my state of being? And if I miss it out, what is my state of being? Right? If I can see the relationship with this person at this moment, I'm not going to be furious on this person. I'm not going to feel irritated, angry, opposed to this person, right? But if not, then I'm troubled within. I'm boiling inside, isn't it? Just by the look of the other, just by listening to the words of the other, just by looking at the actions of the other. So these are my own problems, which I am nurturing within because I have not been sincerely working for right understanding. This is something that we can observe very much. Ji, Nipa Shah Ji. Namaste, Bhaiya. So I want to share uh, uh, my experience. Uh, actually, the thing happened day before yesterday. My, I was in the cabin from almost since 25 years. And uh, suddenly, our head of the department asked me that you have to shift your cabin from uh, first floor. So I said, okay. Then I shift in the entire vacation period. I, I, um, I, I was going at the college and shifted all the things. Then after uh, uh, just last few days, it was something happened and whatever happened, I don't know. But they told me that VC came here and uh, they told me that everyone uh, has to come down. Say, so, okay. I said, okay. So then again, they have to assign a lot at the uh, cabin again. Then I, uh, I thought that, that whatever my previous cabin was there. I have, uh, they will assign, uh, again, accommodate, uh, allow me to stay in there. But uh, I don't know what happened, but that cabin they have assigned to someone else. So um, I, it was uh, some kind of opposition in, uh, was in me. And it was for almost at, at 12 noon, I came to know that, that my cabin was assigned to someone else. I said the other persons that don't sit the, um, all the stuff because uh, it was my cabin. So I will ask them, then I will talk them that it was my cabin. So it is better to assign me that again, because I was working on that, uh, in that uh, cabin for uh, more than 25 years. But I know that because of last few, um, so many occasions are with them. So I knew that that uh, it was not going to work. So um, I came back to home. I, I, I did my all the regular activities. And then I took the uh, nap for 10 to 15 minutes. During all this time, I was uh, working with myself because I was, there was so much opposition in me. So I was working with the self and that I was convincing them that, that, okay, let it be, uh, but it was not going away. So I don't know what happened after a particular moment, within a fraction of a second, 
something has happened and uh, i i i just as the decided or i have convinced myself that whatever is done let it be what uh, whatever they they will assign me i will uh, i will be okay i have to work only na so but i don't realize that what was that particular moment that when i am um, convinced actually i was trying i was i was working with myself and i'm i'm just like what what i can say that i was convincing uh, that bargaining with myself that okay it has been done and it, 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 it there is nothing uh, like that that uh, same cabin will have same uh, something like and say uh, that kind of thing was all going on in myself but it was a opposition uh, the feeling like that cheating or something right but that that after that particular moment uh, and i decided that that whatever is done done uh, let it be uh, i have to work on lena so that is happened so bhai i want to know that what was that particular moment that entire thing has been changed within myself that you have to see <laughs> so <laughs> nice that you related the whole thing so well so these things might happen to us now try to observe so whenever you are having some time try to observe that situation within you and try hmm. to see first of all what was disturbing you for example you are not given your cabin okay hmm. so you be doubting the intention of the person who had shifted you that he is doing this purposefully you know he is disrespecting me that could be one source of disturbance the other like there could be so many other sources of disturbance because of which you are uncomfortable now again when you become comfortable then try to observe what occurred in me what came to me in my thought in my feeling because of which suddenly i came out of that situation inside me what oh. suddenly made me at peace with myself you can observe it for example we try to resolve ourselves in such situations in so many ways one could be let it be and you know, let them go to hell i have come mm-hmm. here for doing my uh, work because i am earning here how wow, to bother about all these things leave it aside i am not going to bother about all these things so one common way of going with would be like let them go to hell or let it go to hell so it is some situation in which i am simply ignoring the situation the other possibility could be that i get into dialogue with the other person and try to see why this decision has been taken so i can empathize for the other i can see why the other has been taking this decision maybe like he might have got some complaints or something about you know giving one particular cabin to one person for so long while others have been shifting from here to there so then we can understand the situation of the other also Hmm. so you only have to see you know how this feeling got changed and you only have to see in the whole situation what made you uncomfortable what made you comfortable and what was the underlying assumption there when you became uncomfortable or when you became comfortable we may become comfortable out of assumption also for example when we say that let them go to hell you know, this is again not the right understanding but by saying so we somehow get out of the situation the turmoil within mm. so i'll just say that you can, today is sunday tomorrow also you might have a holiday you might have a holiday then try to spare some time for yourself be with yourself go into that same situation in your imagination and observe what was the feeling then and there okay whatever i say would only be a kind of guess right ultimately it is you who is going to observe and we can always recollect in such situations and try to see our feeling our thought Now, if okay. you talk about the solution, then one solution is like I get in dialogue with the other person who is taking such decision, and you know, maybe with the right intention, he has done something meaningfully, which I am not able to appreciate, okay. isn't it? Okay, thank you. So, Panji, uh, no, sir, brother. So, brother, if I uh, compare earlier my position, there was a factor of fear. I think even at workplace or at home, also sometimes. at work place again the fear factor was that that if you will talk to someone uh, whose behavior is not up to the mark uh, especially if the senior person is there so you are scared and uh, going there and explaining the situation and i think the fear was this only that what will happen if, if um, uh, the basic fear was that if i will lose the job or something will happen and i have to show myself that i am better than the others this situation was there so i think the feeling of prosperity 
was not there that's the reason that i was uh, fearful now i can realize that and now because i'm doing the experiments also as it's very important that you keep on doing the experimentation that now i when i go and any any topic is there i see the people around me the colleagues are scared uh, i earlier talked uh, talk also that day we could not talk much about that because of lack of time but now i'm doing the experiment so you get so many situations every day you can verify this so when you are stable and uh, uh, you don't have that fear factor and then you even find the words also accurate and then now we are also learning um, this also experiment that the earlier the other also has this potential of uh, knowing and all that and it he also or she also has a self so if you just see the position and if you see the just the age then sometimes the fear factor is there but then if you see the other as self so i think the biggest assumption uh, we were living with this that and the body so same way i feel at home also when my my mother is now 81 year old so whenever she used to get sick i used to have a lot of anxiety and out of that anxiety i was not stable but now whenever otherwise she is now very happy with all this which we am able to create that atmosphere in the at the home and i spend maximum time with her so otherwise she is now very happy the negative thoughts also i i could not see she is talking about that but even she even if she falls sick then i'm not scared and i don't have that anxiety because i understand that this is the material the body it can be there can be some problems in that so these are the two instances means at home also and then at workplace also when you are stable from inside with the help of this knowing and self exploration this fear factor is reducing uh, day by day i can see that bhaiya thank you bhaiya nice bhaiya and nice. one thing more i wanted to tell you this time because in the odd semester in ptu there are around in first semester this is uhv2 and this time there are 23 sections which have to be taught last time Achha. i could get the uh, this is this is how the ptu is uh the last time i could not get how many uh, sections are you getting you no know, 23 sections total in college like all yeah. together bba bca bcom mba hotel management uh, so tourism all together we have 23 sections in which uh, this uh, uh, has to be taught every first semester this course comes only in mba it's third semester in btech it's fourth semester so ma'am how time, many sections are you going to teach uh, that is what i'm saying that last time i could not get the team i told you that many people were not getting the core members and then some some people feel that human values course they wanted to have their core courses first i could not get the team so last time i ta- i taught around 12 sections myself <laughs> it was well, a quite a load 27 hours load in a week but this time uh, with the help of again uh, i took the courage or in a, in a way i said that okay how much i yeah, as you say the next is a team development i again took this challenge 27 hours let me test myself the body and the potential and if the people are not taking it seriously let me do it but now this time again with that stability and all that you now there's a limitation of the body also and team also has to be developed so i talked to my um, senior and then they 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 understood it that okay uh, he takes it very seriously now this time i have got a team of 20 members bhaiya so just yesterday i talked to them and then, then now they have joined this online coming online workshop also this nice, is what yeah. i wanted to share this is, and then i talked to them in length yesterday about one and half hour about the purpose of this course and how it uh, i shared something about me also that how it has Uh, i i have been able to get advantage of this in my life so they had a lot of questions also in the staff so so this is also the 20 teachers team so it's very nice feeling that we'll together as you say that uh, ask them to do the workshop our 20 members is a big team if they can do it very seriously and this semester if you are teaching them because when you when you teach it then uh, i think the teachers can also understand it and 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 i feel that the teachers are also sometimes they're scared also teaching this course they feel that uh, some of them who have taught earlier this course they say that we can teach any other course uh, even a machine learning or any other course but it's very difficult to teach this human values course so this is also a thing so this also i wanted to share bhaiya yeah in fact there are few things here 
that teachers who are teaching the course sincerely find the course very difficult those who are studying the course sincerely also find the course very difficult but there would be some people in the organization who feel that whatever you teach becomes a value so what is to be taught here you know it is just like gossiping in the class so that kind of might be there <laughs> yes this is also feeling some of the directors also last time feel that in the meeting they said that okay in the human values course you have to just tell the story is no issues uh, and then they say that students are also not interested in this course but obviously if you are not dealing the course with um, in the correct way obviously how will we you know, make the students get interested so yes these are all things we are getting but now at least i have got a team of 20 members whom we i can talk the whole full semester the next semester so i am very yes. hopeful that okay uh, this will spread in my campus nice thing yeah nice mm-hmm. and when you are talking about the feeling of fear no so try to list out all the factors which right. make us afraid you know like fear of losing a job yes sir and this could be a potential factor for causing fear yes yes bhaiya Uh, i have been talking to my even colleagues that what is a fear factor ultimately they come to this that okay they will either they will be asked to leave the job and then they say that if we were will be so stressful that uh, we are so stressed in talking to a senior person because he is not listening then we may leave the job and this is happening also so i will see that generally people when they have this kind of fear they are doing some common mistakes like one is that they are not not able to identify the need for facilities right so they feel that it is unlimited on the other hand they are consuming much more than what they require and because of that they have taken so many loans and they have to you know pay emi and all those things and that's why they are too much under pressure thirdly you see that they are not aware of the potential that they have to fulfill the needs of the body so they feel that this is the only job which is making me survive if that job is gone i have no other way to live you know? so they are not able to look into other options also the alternatives also so because of all this it becomes all coupled together and people are under stress they are under fear yes bhai nice bhai thank you bhai lipi go swami ji namaste bhaiya bhaiya yesterday two incidents uh, very small incidents uh, happened and i experienced so i want to share with you so uh, one incident during afternoon and one during evening so both of them are actually related so i was picking my son from school yesterday so uh, it was raining and also the uh, the road is not in a proper condition and uh, there was a traffic jam so now the thing is that behind me there was an uber and it's honking so much at that time i feel irritated i felt inside myself that uh, what happened he has not seen or what that there is traffic jam in front so uh, that was the feeling at that time and after that when um, i was driving driving then i tried to see that yes that feeling had um, came, um, reflected in my mind at that time now um, why the i ask myself why that type of feeling because it is an uncomfortable feeling and it is not naturally acceptable and then um, some analysis also done that maybe he had not seen that there was too much of car in front of me or something like that and this is one incident and during again during uh, evening time i had to go to market and i again i was again taking my car from my gate so but there is a there is a mall just in uh, just behind our house and the almost on saturdays and sundays there are discount and people they park their car in front of our house so it was a very little space and I, when i was trying to back turn my uh, car uh, it was so li- space that i have to take some time to do that and suddenly one person uh, came i i don't know him he was a stranger and he gave me so much suggestions that what i have to do like this so he is giving me at that time also i felt comfortable but i thanked him uh, and after that when i i tried to analyze both the situations since uh, both the both the feelings are not naturally acceptable to me so i was thinking that yes maybe they have a good intention that 
every everything has to in the proper order therefore they are doing such that at the same time there is also a feeling that in both the situations the person may be thinking that omen is driving and they are not good drivers and so so these are the feelings bhaiya so i want to clarify from you nice didi so nice i can see a shift in your observation now earlier you were not able to make out your feeling you were only able to see the thought and now you are able to share your feeling also yes bhaiya <laughs> so that is a very good development in the past 20 days like so good that you observed like if somebody is honking from the back side you are able to see that you are getting uncomfortable you have a feeling which is not acceptable to naturally and this other situation also so having observed all this now you can see the underlying assumption when i'm getting disturbed what do i assume about myself what do i assume about the other human being what do i assume about the situation try to look into those assumptions also so you'll see that many times our thoughts are somewhat led by our assumption that this should be there and this should not be there so many times we think in terms of should and shouldn't if i am driving and if the other person is behind me one should not be honking one should not be parking the car here one should be doing like this in the house one should be doing like that in the organization so many times we are assuming so many things inside us based on should or shouldn't and that becomes a kind of foundation for us we always think on those lines and we miss out the feeling if i have uh, ask a person to submit some work in a given time one should be submitting if the other is not submitting i get irritated one should not be banging on the door like this if some one does like this then i get irritated so you'll see that we have lot of assumptions inside us which are there in terms of should and shouldn't and behind that we do not have clarity about the intention of the other about my intention about the positions of self and body and that's how when we start thinking about these situations we are troubled but naturally and gradually as we are moving ahead you know so so far you have been able to see the feeling inside and whether you are comfortable or not whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not you can also see that you are responsible for that feeling not the person honking from the back side you know it is you who is nurturing that feeling it is you who is getting irritated and this some decision of yours only and then you can try to see the underlying assumptions so keep it open it's not that it is going to get concluded within a day or two keep it open try to observe the assumption go into that same situation in your imagination and try to see what did i assume about the other you know mm-hmm. we make so many benchmarks about the other that the other should be like this only the other should be behaving like this only the other should be acting like this only the other should be looking like this only you know and similarly mm-hmm. for us also and we try to go by those assumptions and that becomes a cause of our unhappiness mm-hmm. so yes, try to look yeah. further and deeper yes my mother thing is that uh, the analysis part whatever i thought uh, later on i uh, realized that this this may be the cases for which i don't have the naturally acceptable feeling but during that time there is something uncomfortable feeling so that has to be actually erased yes and for that you have to be more observant if i can observe myself at the heat of the moment hmm then i am able to make out my assumptions rightly hmm so generally when we recollect we are able to observe certain things but at the heat of the moment i miss out mm-hmm. yes sir Mm-hmm. Yes, my. Mm-hmm. My idea. So we have yes. to continue with the process. Yeah. Yes. The Thank you. To enter into the process of this exploration. Mm-hmm. Let us be follow. Yeah. Yes. Okay, my dear. Thank you. My idea. Anuja Nanda ji. Anuja Nanda ji. You have a mic. Okay. Fine. So this was the assignment that we took yesterday. so what we can do we can observe for 10 minutes okay try to observe all this for example you are discussing with someone and the other is disagreeing to your point you are saying something the other is simply not agreeing to it or even maybe say mocking at it 
right or simply negating it or passing some judgment about right what happens to us someone has a different like or dislike and i am into dialogue with the other what happens to us i said something to the other and the other simply ruled it out that it is not true then what happened to me did i become uncomfortable so i was expecting the other person to agree to me and it might be the case that i am assuming that if i say something other should be agreeing to me i assume that my every word is right why because my intention is right so whatever i do is right this is a very common assumption we say that since my intention is right so whatever i do is right because my intention is right and when the other person does not acknowledge it does not go by it then i become troubled so try to recollect also and try to observe at this moment also we'll observe for 10 minutes and then discuss
Nice. We finish sharing or reflection or question is there. May raise your hand. Devi Prasanji. Namaste, Vaya. In one situation, uh, I was uh, talking to somebody else regarding this UHV. And uh, at one point of time, I told something which is according to UHV, but the person was just taking some idea from, he was just doing the UHV one. He suddenly told that, no, this is not correct. So I thought that uh, I felt a little that, uh, yes, uh, this person doesn't know because he is telling like that. So there was one uh, little kind of, um, I was upset for a moment or fraction of moment. Then I thought that, yes, he is not exposed. So therefore, he is telling like that. And uh, I felt something that, uh, I felt awkward. That's all. Okay. Now, observe further, bhaiya. Ji. Amresh ji. Uh, namaste, bhaiya. Yesterday, there was a meeting in an organization where I was a part of that uh, discussion. So, uh, what I was able to see is uh, how to go about the improvement part. So, that was the discussion. In the course. And uh, what uh, I was able to see is even with all this understanding there also, I was trying to put someone responsible that seeing that I am special. So I was, I was doing that there uh, and I was able to say I'm not that comfortable and I was expressing also, but, and finally, at the end of the end of the meeting, it was all responsibility put on me. Yeah. I was, uh, they were able to see that, okay, this is one person who is going to do this better. So I just took all that responsibility uh, for th- and came back home and trying to look why, why did I do that? So basically it was some way or the other way I could have brought up the things that it is uh, with only lack of right understanding, this is all happening. So I didn't do that even with all this uh, connectivity with this content and their being within. Uh, at that moment, it was not there, but when I was there back home sitting up with myself, so I was able to see that uh, that could have been a better way of, of getting the participation from the hall, putting there the right understanding about the situation and how to go about and that doing part was uh, that later, but still I was uh, not trying to take uh, the togetherness, that is uh, participation at the larger order or uh, coexistence part and everyone is trying to help the other. So that part I was not able to put up in the meeting. So I just, I was able to see that I missed an opportunity where this understanding part is the core could have been there. And uh, so everyone could have been connected and how everyone can hold hands together and work for the goal or the achievement where we want that improvement, where we are thinking that there is a lagging. So this I was able to see uh, unnecessary everything I had taken on my shoulder and other than unnecessary, I would say once again, it is my own participation. I can do the best what is there possible. I was able to see this now also, but, but uh, understanding part with the, with all the team as a core, I missed. So I was able to see this. Man. So I just wanted to reflect. So it is uh, basically uh, in a different way, the situation now, all that discussion that we do with the other in any part of our meetings or any transaction that we're doing with the expressing part, we always try to put the blame on someone and uh, we are separate and that system of, of the discussion also. So that is what I'm able to see. Most of the time that's it's still happening there. This, uh, even though uh, I feel that okay, I am something got into this content in a better way. I, even the families when I discuss, this is, this still happens. Maya. That's what I just wanted to think. Yes. And let me say that this will keep happening. It's not that it is going to be over very soon because as we go into a step five now, we can see there are a lot many assumptions which we are not aware of and gradually they start surfacing out. So these situations help us reflect on those assumptions also, isn't it? So one common kind of mistake is that we start expecting that our conduct is going to be definite, our imagination is going to be completely guided once I'm into this process. But that's not the case. Now, we have to awaken to the higher level activities and unless that is accomplished, these kinds of things would be there. Only that the frequency and the amplitude of such disturbances will come down. Now, I think uh, it will be, a, whenever such situations do happen, I think I can put up uh, 
uh, in a better way for helping the other bhaiya that's what i was able to see thank you ji nice bhaiya deepa nayar ji namaste bhaiya yeah actually i have two observations here bhaiya uh, like uh, if i am if someone is directly talking to me uh, about someone and i have a disagreement with that person earlier i was just keeping quiet i feel discomfort all the time but someone is saying anything but i was not able to say anything against that but i can observe that earlier by yeah not now i was earlier also i was able to see that feeling of discomfort now i can see that uh, whatever anyone is saying even not directly to me even if i am overhearing something that discomfort i am not able to tolerate that is my problem nowadays like uh, i can see that uh, they are saying even though i am not sure about the complete topic but uh, only thing i am sure that it is not uh, in line with my natural acceptance so i am not uh, able to accept it the feeling of opposition is not there earlier the feeling of opposition was there but now the i am getting very much what should i say i am getting discomfort and one more observation bhaiya like uh, in a meeting or somewhere if we are talking about something especially uh, with uhv related yeah here in the university uh, like when we are there is a, there are some disagreements with some people in introducing uhv actually uhv is there three credit course is there but still we are some, we are facing some issue related with uh, hours uh, how many hours discussions going on but many people are not if they are not even aware about the course they are saying some opposition so uh, i am not feeling opposition against them but uh, i usually try to convince them that's what i feel i usually try to convince them uh, in saying my own points but i can observe that my feelings are in line with natural acceptance but the other side i am feeling very much depressed so a natural acceptance in the, in the sense not in opposition but the feeling of uh, depression is also there bhaiya yeah. yes so nice observation didi one good thing is that you are able to see that no more opposition is there but you are somewhat apprehensive about the uh, decisions to be taken and the outcome of all those decisions so like as you were mentioning also so it's not that i will accept the situation as it is i can see that within me the feeling that is there is not is in line with natural acceptance i am feeling related there is something that i have to assure within me and if the situation outside is not as per my natural acceptance i will not accept it as it is it means i will try to transform it for that i will share my reflection i will share my views with a feeling of relationship and i can see very much that the people who are in this meeting they have not been through self exploration so they are carried by so many assumptions right and some may also be feeling opposed because of so many reasons but gradually somehow i have to assure every person in the meeting and it's not only during the meeting it's before and after the meeting also so that the other is able to see the reality other is able to feel the need for the value inputs and the way it has to be taught to the students so i'll accept that responsibility also so i will not simply say that okay since these people are not agreeing to what i am saying you know let it go like that no i'll try to trap some the situation with a feeling of relationship but i will not feel depressed also because my role is not going to be over after the meeting my role is going to continue so if the meeting could not take the decision in the right manner i'll see what homework i have to do now who all are there who are not agreeing to the proposal and what is their problem i'll try to bring them to the workshop try to get in dialogue with them so if i start looking at as a at a program as a mere event then i may enter into such situations but my program is continuous my program is to understand and live in harmony every moment when i am able to see this then i will not feel depressed situations will have ups and downs that are going to be there in some colleges the course is running very meaningfully tomorrow some new director comes and he starts you know passing wrong judgments about the course talking loosely about the course all those possibilities are there but i will be able to see my program every moment and you know, my program is to facilitate the other with a feeling of complementarity so good didi that you are able to see that no opposition is there but 
somehow we also have to see the continuous program for the self then we are not driven by the outcomes of the situations and bhaiya and one more thing bhaiya actually when i am saying that my feelings are not uh, feelings are in line with natural acceptance then also i can observe that opposition is there but uh, inside me i have a feeling of i am sad so what no, should i say there or not there opposition is not there bhaiya yeah? but i am feeling okay. i should say sympathetic about the other people why they are saying like this why i am not able to make them aware about this like that i am feeling sympathetic that feeling is also not in line with natural acceptance that is my, my confusion this may be there for some time gradually we are able to evolve further so that discomfort will also be gone okay bhaiya yeah. thank you working for that as you do some more hands are raised so pam ji if you have any question then please share or i can take questions of others do you have any question or merely reflection uh ji namaste bhai i was having questions also but that question has been dealt well with the sharing of deepa didi deepa nayadi okay. so okay. now no question uh, only sharing uh, remains so i think i may stop or Achha, should i take please sharing brief so that i can take others questions share yeah. briefly acha okay 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 i am talking about the nba accreditation at my at my at our institute uh, and we are not going yeah. to all those details see yeah 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 we yeah. uh, uh, observe uh, the feeling with some more fineness i found that some people are having a kind of opposition regarding uh, um, uh, for me because i feel that they thought that i am demeaning them and or i am trying to prove them wrong but this was not the thing i just wanted uh, and be in the department um, at and at that time i used to broke down but uh, bhaiya you also told me uh, many times that if you are getting um, um, sad during these times then you have to look into it and i could understand um, from the response you told to the deepa didi thank you mal didi this time also tara bhaiya we may conclude the session now ji ji bhai so thank you so much kumar bhai for putting all this discussion and helping all of us in the direction of self exploration so uh, thank you to all the participants for explorer for being the part of this english part of the morning session putting your reflections asking questions taking part in the discussions which is helpful for all of us for sure